I make sure that I can see this? Because there are things that happen in life and the cycles of life. We have day and then we have night. That's a poor illustration of a moon. But when we have night, things get foggy. I can no longer see. And nighttime is, a, is you know, it's an analogy or a metaphor for when things get tough and we lose sight of what it is that's important to us. Now, the best way to navigate through that is to put in place what's needed for you to continually see. Little light globes. We need to light this path up. We need to make sure this path is lit up so you have the right environment so you can see what's possible. And when you have the right environment, you can see what's possible. Hey, I'm no longer on my own. I'm part of a crew. There's a team here. They've got my back. They're in my corner. I'm not left to my own devices. I can be inspired from him. I can draw inspiration from him. I can be motivated there. I can lead the group. I am no longer on my own. I'm part of a tribe. And when you have that, you can then see what they're going through. You can then see what's possible. You can continue to see what is lit up in, hey, this is my pathway. This is important. Cool. I can continue to move forward. I can continue to move forward. I can continue to move forward. And when you do that, fellas, you're going to get on top. Even in the darker moments, the periods of struggle, the periods of pain, you're going to experience growth from there because you can see what's possible. I don't want to stay here. I need to get to there. I don't want to stay here. And it's that whole case, like bloody the matrix. Here's the red pill. That's what's going to happen if I don't do anything. This is the blue pill. This is what's going to happen there. Now, we've got clear set parameters on the declaration. Primal power, one and two, nourishing and moving the body and having the environment. So how do we know that this is all going to work? How do we know that this is all aligned for you? The group is a good group. It's got the right culture, integrity, integrity sorry, community in there. You've got the systems in place, nourish and move the body, but that could change. This could change in six weeks time. You're completely different. This could change six weeks time. This, how do we know that that's moving ahead in the right light? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I love using the, uh, the story of, of Pinocchio and that's a great example. You know, that, that cartoon, he goes over to an island, they start acting like donkeys, so they start becoming and turning into donkeys, right? That's important because I've seen, I'm part of some social groups, dad's groups, mental health groups for men, all this sort of stuff. There's two, five, 10,000 members in there and it's flooded with shit, no disrespect, but it is not just in the men. I'm not judging people for that in the actions, in the output, the energy or lack thereof the frequencies, the vibe, the vibe of, the, of the whole group, it's not there. And that's where it really comes down to having the right coaching structure in place to help navigate through the choppy waters and steer the ship the right way to make sure that this is a win. And that's what this is about. Creating a win, being victorious in your world. You've got your declaration. You've got your primal power one, primal power two. You've got the environment. And then you've got the coaches. We're in your corner. We don't stop. I told you before, I'm a competitive man. I don't stop. I won't stop. And I won't lose. Do you want to be part of that? Yes or no? You will fall in and out of this at times. Sometimes, eh, you know, you forget what's important to you. It happens. You know? We get busy. You might not nourish the body the way you should that time or that week or that day. Hopefully not that month. Come on, fellas. We've got to hold a high standard to us. We must no longer tolerate our own actions that do not serve us, myself included. Sometimes you're a bit quiet or you're traveling away or, you know, with work, fly in, fly out, shifts change. Things change. You're not quite utilizing that the most. But understanding that as a whole, we've got your back. We're in your corner. And when you recognize and realize that and you tap into this, you tap into this, you absolutely utilize this. You tap into this. You tap into this. Guess what? You become a leader. And guess what? you're going to lead and inspire another dad in this group who's having a down moment because you won't always be open and share. It's hard work, fellas. I'm open and vulnerable with everything. It didn't just happen overnight. It takes time, right? And you might naturally be an introvert too. I'm not saying you need to share your life story, but this will ultimately formulate and help you become the leader you need to be. Whether you speak the words or not, your actions can show up. And whether the dad reaches out to you or not, you'll become a leader, a greater leader, a higher level of leadership. We're all leaders. It's, are we good or bad? Are we leading our own life or leading others? Are we leading our family, friends? And the thing is, your success, fellas, ultimately, when we look at all of this, your success is mine. It's so true. You win, I win. The dads in RDM win, the coaches win. But the impact, like the vision that we have here, that you've all bought into, that we're a team, 
We're collectively. We are a vessel for life to channel through to help inspire and drive other people to take action. You won't even meet them sometimes, a lot of the times. There are plenty of people who I may have had a positive impact in their life that I'll never meet. Good for them. The version of me that you're seeing right now is a collective of thousands of people that I've seen. They have all formed the Alex Ranieri that you're seeing here today. The name doesn't even matter. It's a message. It's something to channel through the greatness that we have in our life, the greatness that we can be. And from there, in looking after ourselves, nourishing and investing ourselves first across the five pillars, which it's flawless. It does not fail. It covers all aspects of your life, mind, body, and soul to help you move forward at the stage that you're at on your evolutionary journey. It's the difference. That is the gift. That's the magic. That is the world and that is consciousness from which we can pass down the gift to our children, their children's children. And ultimately when we're dead, buried, dust in the earth, none of that matters anymore. What matters is the, what we've passed down, the mannerisms, the behaviors, the belief patterns, the focus, the energy levels, the frequencies that are now living, living on in those when we're no longer here. And that to me, that's a beautiful thing. That's not a burden or a challenge or a pressure. That's a phenomenal gift that we can pass on. And that is the realization of the amazing journey that we have right here, right now.